Kaka V420 is a modern meme creator that makes meme based off of that of the 21st century humor memes from early 2020, and has grown a fan base of nearly a million subscribers. However, what a lot of Kaka's fans don't realize, is that there are many dark secrets behind the meme channel. In this video we will be diving into the depths of the Kaka V420 iceberg I created. If you're not familiar with the iceberg format, we start at the top with the most well-known stuff, and work our way down into more obscure topics. The number in the corner from 1 to 5, represents how sure I am on this specific topic. Luckily, since I'm an expert on this channel, the number in the corner is always or mostly gonna be a 5. So without further ado, let's jump into the iceberg. Part 1, The Tip Dr. Nefertio Dr. Nefertio is Kaka's alt account where he makes stare videos pretending to be Dr. Nefario from the Despicable Me series. The channel has done non-dare videos before. But unfortunately, the channel has been inactive for nearly six months at the time of making this. The Babux series. The Babux series is one of Kaka's oldest series, and is the only series where he has turned an entire series into a movie. The plot is Gru tries to steal the Babux generator, and then gets captured by Babux man. And then when the Babux generator breaks, and a massive Babux black hole sucks up everything in the universe, Gru and many other people try to save the world from destruction. Also there's a plot twist at the end of the movie. I won't spoil it. You can check the full movie in the link in the description. Gru's Goofy oh! Adventures Gru's Goofy on Adventures is the series that revived the Gru era as a Quandale Dingle humor series. The series was quite random and it's really funny. It's one of Kaka's most famous series and revived the channel from its downfall. The series discontinued on September 11th, 2022. When he uploaded Gru Gets a Boyfriend. After that came a Doors trilogy. The first non-Gru era. At the start of 2022. Kaka V420 uploaded I wonder if YouTube Kids is safe to use. This started a large downfall for the channel. As most of the people who watched and subscribed to him for Gru content. I'll tell you why later. The series contained basic meme characters like I Show Speed, Freddy Fazbear, Jellybean and many others. I enjoyed Thesis videos. They are very funny and should definitely be watched. TikTok Roasting Series On December 11, 2022, exactly two months after the last Goofy Eye Adventures video, Gru started to roast cringe TikTok Roblox story timers. And he did this with YouTuber Koofy. Part 2. The Surface Yandav Terraria Meme Yandav Terraria Meme is the first video that Kaka V420 ever uploaded. It's okay for a first video. Some people think he may have had a video before that video but was deleted. But no one knows for sure. Various clones slash ripoffs. There are many channels inspired by or ripping off Kaka V420. Many of these include Which you've likely heard of Used to be Officer Earl And Cuphead the Gamer who was likely terminated because I can't find his channel. Kaka underscore V419. This is the name of both the Roblox account and Roblox channel name where he makes Roblox content. Kaka said that Dr. Nefertio is going to remove his glasses when the channel hits 100,000 subscribers, which is mostly around the time when a channel gets verified. But there is one big issue with the channel. It's completely abandoned. But luckily the Roblox account is still active, normally making videos. Johnny the Streamer interview. In the video titled, The Despicable Rise of Kaka V420, former meme YouTuber Johnny the Streamer interviewed Kaka and asked some questions about his channel. The video also contains eras and events that happened before to the day the video released. It's a fun time. And when you're done with this video, go watch the interview video after. Crackbot collaboration video. When Kaka had around 18k subscribers. Back when Crackbot still had his main channel. Crackbox made a collaboration video with Kaka V420. The video no longer exists due to Crack's termination. Part 3, Below the Surface. Various clones slash ripoffs. I already talked about this in the second layer by accident. The Monkey Prequel. The Monkey Prequel is a spin-off to the Bobux series that focuses on the character of Monkey. There's only one episode in the spin-off series. And it's been that way for nearly two years. It will probably continue very very soon. Or maybe never. Babux Series 2 Post The Babux Series 2 Post confirms that GVB2 is happening. This is probably the main reason why Dr. Nefertio went inactive. The series is probably nearly done because at the time of making this, it's been nearly 6 months. 
What happened to the Babux Orb? At the end of the Babux series movie, we don't see what happens to the Babux Orb, or see it being destroyed. My best guess is that the orb exploded off screen, and its core flew off into space. However, it is unknown what actually happened. Obamium created the Babux Orb with his power to defeat the bad guys in the first place, and Monkey King said of a Babux nuke, maybe the core is the nuclear bomb, and the nuke fused with the orb. If my theory is true, then the Babux Orb is still out there, and it's radioactive, due to the effects of a nuclear bomb, and the guys who got sucked up may have died due to radiation poisoning, and the gravity inside the orb. Monkey King is Monkey Teacher from the Monkey Prequel. There are many theories surrounding Monkey King and Monkey Teacher. One theory suggests that Monkey King is Monkey Teacher. They both have the same design, it's just Teacher doesn't have the hat. This seems true. If Monkey Prequel Episode 2 comes out, we'll learn more about the Teacher. For now, it's just a theory. Part 4. Going Deeper. Kaka Friended by on Roblox. Bix man might be immune to lava. I really don't think this is true. Because Babux man presumably kills Bix man at the end of the series. And if Bix man had the power of lava immunity, there'd be a post credit scene. But after Babux man says never mess with Babux man it ends. And there's no post credit scene in the movie. Bix man could have survived due to his immense power. But there's no way to know for sure. The multiple Goofy Adventures continuities. It seems that the Gru's Goofy Adventures world is some sort of multiverse. There are a few long continuities. But I believe that the Goofy A world is purgatory. I'll get to that later. We have officially reached the bottom of the fourth layer. But there is still four more layers to go. It's time to venture deeper into the depths of the Kaka V420 iceberg. The remaining four layers contain high levels of chicanery. So be aware of what you are about to see. Part 5, Nearing the Bottom, Rumored Face Reveal. According to this Reddit user, this is Kaka V420's face. But it's not confirmed. So we don't know if this is Kaka's actual face. I believe that this is just the Reddit user's face instead. Minion the Gamer. In this video by Dr. Neferdio, we can see Kaka clearly knows about Minion the Gamer through a Mr. Incredible meme which was popular at the time of the video's release. This may be a Kaka V420 inspired channel. The Goofy A World is Purgatory. Purgatory is, according to the belief of most Christian denominations, an intermediate state after physical death for expiatory purification. The process of purgatory is the final purification of the elect, which is entirely different from the punishment of the damned. According to Wikipedia, the concept of time is non-existent in purgatory. And time changes after every dare in Dr. Neferio Goofy A memes. And Nefario has stated that Gru has died around 420 times. Question. How many times has Gru died? Approximately 420 times. So after every Gru death, it goes back a little bit. But there's no concept of time in Purgatory. So Gru every living entity in the Goofy Adventures world is immortal. And can revive instantly after death in Purgatory. And since we don't see Roblox related characters in this world. The Goofy A world takes place after the events of the first Gru era. Since we see Gru die before reaching the ticks in the final video of the first Gru era, surely the others died later, and they all ended up in purgatory after their death. Secrets in Roblox Catalog Game I'll show you in screenshots in order to uncover these secrets in only three easy steps. Step 1, go on Roblox and go on the Catalog Creator Game. Step 2, now that you're in the game, go into Outfit Loader. Step 3, search up. Kaka V419 and then you've uncovered the secrets of the TikTok roasting series. Part 6, The Bottom. The profile picture will change on September 18th, 2023. Although this isn't confirmed, I saw this on Kaka's wiki on fandom, which I'll get to later. The final episode of the Babux series was a video but was deleted to make way for the movie. I think I saw a DeviantArt on Google saying that there was a deleted finale episode. But it might have been deleted because I can't find it. Bit I don't know if Kaka actually planned it as an episode before the movie. Hidden movie references. I'll show you these ones instead because I'm bored.
Kaka's Wiki plus Bobux Series 2 Leaks. Kaka's Wiki is a fandom wiki that has a lot of articles related to Kaka V420. However, I might have found some leaks. And here they are. I'm not sure if they are real. But it might just be someone making a Bobux series fan fiction. What happened to Monkey Mother? In the Bobux series, we don't see a Monkey Mother. And in fact, she's not even mentioned in the entire series or seen in flashbacks. So she may have died in some sort of tragedy. But there's no mention of a tragedy to the Monkey family in the entire series. Maybe. The Bobux series takes place in an alternative dimension where male monkeys reproduce instead of females. And yet there are no female characters in the Bobux series at all. Maybe in the second season, we'll finally hear a mention of Monkey Mother. Super Limo 2K hates Kaka V420. The channel that I'm showing you hates Kaka V420 because he thinks he's boring. But unfortunately, the original video must have been deleted. Because I can't find it. He even bashes opinions on Kaka V420. Spanish dubs by Tabrax Mix. A YouTuber from Argentina has dubbed many of Kaka V420's videos in Spanish. One day Kaka V420 will dub all of his video into Spanish and other languages and dub channels he'll make. But nobody knows. Multiple Discord Accounts Kaka V420 has owned multiple Discord accounts. All of them were used in his videos. This Reddit user states that there are four Discord accounts Kaka V420 has used. But in the videos, he uses a lot more that four. Part 8, The Void. Universal and Illumination could sue Kaka V420. As you may know, the owner of the character Gru, as well as the minions and the entire Despicable Me IP, is owned by Universal and Illumination. If both Universal and Illumination find out about Kaka V420, this could break into a serious lawsuit. And Kaka would have to delete his channel. Bobux Series 2 Release Date Although we don't know anything about GVB2, some speculate a possible release date. Some people believe that it will release on the channel's anniversary. Some believe it will release after the TikTok roasting era is over. However, I believe it will come out at the end of 2023. Since this this has been anticipated since the first movie. But. It's unknown when the sequel will release. The channel might be on the brink of downfall. Because the TikTok roasting series isn't Gru content. We could see a downfall. But we can't predict downfalls. If Kaka doesn't do Gru content by May. His channel will fall off.